Welcome to Rule the Waves 3. My name is Daz Tactic. This is episode 7, and we've sort of now got the invasion undergoing in through here of uh, Dalmatia. So we've been able to sort of allow the forces to come across. Sorry, there's noise around here. I just can't stop it, and I'm not going to be able to stop it. So if you're hearing squeals and all sorts of other noises, hopefully it'll stop soon. In fact, I'll just see if I can find out how long that will be. All right, we're back, and there's no squealing anymore. So uh, Dalmatia, we are attacking. Um, the So the Italian forces actually went in the last episode. Uh, <laughs> not through any bravery from the uh, Navy's part. We, we certainly sort of ran and, uh, and with our tail between our legs, we sort of, we got, like we took very, very light damage. It's so light, in fact, that it didn't actually impact any of our uh, battleships, uh, you know, being able to, to now uh, get into the water. I still think I'll be running for a little bit longer if I can do it, just to try to build up more about more of these these terrible battleship designs that we actually have, and we will be wanting to replace them. Uh, I'm sort of waiting now for the end of the war, and I'm sort of thinking in terms of the the actual development of this series, I want the war to finish, and I'll probably take even a white piece at this stage, just so I can go through with the series to sort of make it so that I can introduce more concepts uh, to the actual, uh, to you know, to, to the actual series itself, without it sort of you know being episode twenty before we start to do other things. Uh, let's just end our turn here anyway, because um, we should now either have reinforcements probably coming from Austria Hungary that we have to intercept, which would be interesting, or vice versa. We could be ending up with more reinforcements coming in ourselves again, which the Austrians will then try to intercept. I would imagine that would be sort of the most likely of the scenarios that we sort of have at this point in time. There could be supplies going in as well. That's the sort of stuff that I think we're going to end up having. I've, I've quite enjoyed, I've got to say, the uh, very contained area in the Adriatic that we've been playing. I know it's sort of, it's very limited, but it's, um, I think it makes it, I think it presents the game in, in, a, in a very limited way, uh, but you can get the feel like if you were, you know, if you were playing one of the other, like if you were playing Spain, for example, and then you were at war back over here, you're going to have all sorts of different things happening all over the place, which is interesting as well. But it's sort of funny. I think it's nice to sort of see something that it is really, really contained in around such a small area. And it's, for me anyway, it's been quite engaging. I've really quite enjoyed this. Uh, so anyway, let's just keep on, let's just end the turn, see what we get. Oh, some of your ships or divisions have no commander assigned. Uh, do you want them to have a commander assigned automatically? No, we don't. Um, so you can do yes to all and it will automatically happen. Now, I think I started the series with that on. If we go back and have another look. Um, now, what have we got? Actually, if we look at the ships, we have a, uh, the next one that's come through is the uh, Vittorio Emmanuel, which is, um, which is working up at this point in time. The, uh, the crew quality as well, if we have a bit of a look, we've got the Italia. I might just have a quick look at the, uh, view, the view data. So they've got three stars. And yet the, I'm um, not sure why that's three, to be honest. The Napoli, if you look at the, um, the view data there, it's only got the two, but the, the um, crew quality is still good. I'm not sure how, what that refers to, to be honest. I'm, I'm sorry, it's a, there'll probably be someone in the description who will have actually said, oh, that's this or that's that. But I haven't actually, um, haven't really sort of taken much notice as to what that actually is. Anyway, we've got this captain required for the Vittorio Emmanuel. And so we need to use a captain, not a commander. So if we just go and uh, assign, uh, so the uh, commander and division, so we'll assign a new commander. And so we have of the captains... I do actually have this average, uh, this is Captain Bazzoni. He's a poor ship handler and, a, and a, music, a music lover. I think I'm going to avoid putting him in charge. Uh, we've also got, um, actually, the Marco Polo. The captain of the Marco Polo is below average, which is a shame because the Marco Polo has been quite a good ship. Um, anyway, I've really got these two in here. Let's just go with um, uh, Captain D. Schiara. Schiara. There we are. So he's now been assigned. That means we can now end our turn. Here we go. Fleet battle. Battle in support of land combat. So this is, this is where we go in. Now, we've only got three battleships uh, yet, which is the three that we actually have up through there. Better than the two that we had last time. Uh, one, like we've got the Marco Polo, and then we actually have uh, six light cruisers. So again, uh, against the five battleships. Um, hopefully it's towards the night time again and we'll just sort of see how this one does go so this is another essentially battle in support of land combat we'll just accept and I'm not seeing any objectives in through this side 
but it looks like we do actually have a transport. I oh, know that's uh, we've got a um, this is interesting. We've got the we've got much more many more of the light cruisers now, which is actually could be quite interesting. Uh, we may be able to do something a bit more aggressive. Again, if we start to take damage, I think I'll just get out of there. If we're not sort of seeing that we're doing anything else, if it becomes a slot as a slogging match where we are really, really just duking it out with the um, with the Austrians, then we'll um, probably stay in the fight as long as we're getting some good hits in ourselves. But uh, I'm not sure if that will actually happen. Uh, now, in terms of the order of battle, uh, we do actually have the coastal forces. Okay, this is purely uh, this is purely naval forces. Great. So I'm not sure. I can't see any objectives anywhere. So I think it's just going to be a meeting engagement on the high seas. It is early in the morning, unfortunately. And I say unfortunately because there's a lot of there's 14 hours and 10 minutes of of um, of, of daylight. Um, so this is going to be a, a very very long battle, and um, we're not going to be able to escape from it. Uh, it's got 800. So even we, the actual elapsed of the time that we've got allowed will essentially be like be, you know this will be um, if the battle's still continuing. It's going to be a full on battle. Uh, if we allow it to happen. The fact that we've got so many light cruisers is a good thing, and we may actually even sacrifice one or two of those uh, to see if we can actually destroy any of their, of their actual battleships. Their battleships are much better than ours, even though they're half the size. <laughs> so uh, let's just go and press... Um, let's just go to normal speed and just press C, or Q, sorry, and just let them go. Yeah, unknown, sh unknown ship has been sighted. These will be their battleships. Let's just press C again. Yep, here they all are. All five. Yes, there they go. And yep, they're all battleships. Now, I am going to um, just check and see what each of these have got. These are independent line ahead. Okay, so that's not a problem. And if we go back to the order of battle, uh, we can see there we've got the main battle division back in through here, the three big battleships. <coughs> so can we... Can we do enough damage with three battleships against their five using these to harass? And I don't know. Like if, if we can get some lucky hits, because they've got lower armor than us, the trouble is our armor is... We, we've got thick armor, but in in small amount of places. And so uh, once we, when, when it does come down... Like their ships are better uh, better armed overall. Actually, we can't actually see that one just yet. So we've got the uh, light cruiser division, which is just the Marco Polo, and then we have three more cruisers coming back through the Venezia, the Messina, and the Taranto. And so those three ships are um, are all basically going to be... What are they doing, actually? If you have a look and see. Their actually role is core with line ahead. Um, hmm. See, again, these, these will be good with their uh, torpedoes. So sort of trying to get in close... They could really do some har harassment of the of the enemy ships if they can sort of sort of come in close, stream through, and then sort of get out of there while our battleships are engaging. So we'll, we'll play around with things a little bit in here. This could be a bit of a risky um, a risky battle for us. I might actually move them all back out of the way to start with. So let's just go and press shift on shift click on the, each of these just to move them back away from the fight and allow our battleships to just continue on. So. Just give them an order to go that way. Um, is there anything else we needed to look at? I don't think there is. So these will all then sort of move out of the way. And we'll come through. Now they've got two that have split off. I don't know if they are following. Okay, let's just go and um, go back down this other side. This is the light cruiser division. Come up and we'll get the Marco Polo to go back across the front. Interesting. They're actually now moving away from us. These are all just going at 12. This is actually okay. What will they 
do. And we probably want to just see how we go um, just exchanging fire with them for a little while with our, uh, with our battleships before we send the others in. That's interesting. They're moving away again. Sorry, the dogs are barking yet again. God, they're annoying. Hang on. <laughs> Uh, this is why I hate recording during the day. I, I, I really enjoy recording in the very, very early morning because it sort of means there's just no noise, there's no interruptions. And uh, unfortunately, I know that there's going to be workmen starting work uh, around here in the next coming days. So it's going to be a bit of a painful time, I think, for recording. Uh, anyway, let's continue on. Now they're travelling at 15. Okay, let's ramp ours up to match their speed. And um, this could take a bit, a bit of time. What I might do is I might actually um, might just pause the recordings until we sort of get a bit closer. All right, they're sort of moving in towards Spilato. They're a long, long way away from our forces now. And uh, so they've been able to pull away, but they're going straight for this island. So they're actually heading straight for that island there. So I'm just going to try to cut them off. I'll just press Q. Just moving angle slightly, they'll actually come into here and then go one way or the other. So I've got the yeah, they're coming this other side. Now we're not going to be able to catch them, I don't think. Yeah, by the time they get there, they're still going to be going around the outside. All right, I'll pause again because we're not going to be able to actually get them. <laughs> so they're just sort of moving around uh, around this other side, and we'll trace them. We'll just chase them through. Uh, yeah, oh, hang on, we're now within range slightly. Let's just. Um, change these the angle of these a little bit and I will actually bring the Marco Polo back this way as well I was going to try to just get it to cut up cut them off if they did go around the other side um, yeah Monarch opens fire and the Napoli again the Napoli sort of been out in front for a lot of these these battles um, it would be lucky for it to get a hit in they're trying to get to um, to Spilato. Anyway, I'll pause again until we sort of get some sort of in engagement. I'm not sure about going inside the islands, but we can certainly try to keep them locked in. Uh, maybe that might be the way to do it. The battleships all need to clean their grates, whatever the hell that is. <laughs> I've got no idea what that is. We look at the dog entries. Uh, it's not in there. I'm not sure what that actually is. Anyway, that's, um, that's all okay. Um, We'll just keep on trying to put pressure on. We we'll see if we can force them inside. Um, and, and look, it's—I know that you know for, for those who are who are used to playing computer games where there's action happening aplenty. I mean, no, these aren't these sort of games. These are these are historically accurate to as much as they possibly can be. Um, they're fascinating, really, because um, you know it, it sort of gives you a, a very clear historical appreciation of what does go on, even though not much is really happening in this instance. Uh, but let's just keep it all going. So are they going to go into the, the port or not? We, don't, we won't know just yet. Just press 9, we'll just get a little bit more happening. They certainly split up their formation. So this could get interesting. Yeah, it looks like they're going for that narrow. Now, I'm not going to chase them with the uh, light cruisers. I really want to have the um, a lot of the initial stuff done with these three battleships. Yeah, they're going to go around the other way. Yep, so they're now going to go in behind the island. I think what we'll do is we'll just hover around here. So... Um, Not a lot we can do here if they if they head around there. Not gonna be able to catch any of them. Unless they come out, which they are. Interesting. Alright, well this is sort of setting us something else up. Um, this one's on its own, this Kaiser. Well let's head let's head down and sort of try to cut it off. 
I'll keep the other cruisers going back this other side. I oh, know it's going back in now. I'm not going to go inside there. Yeah, we're now losing sight of them as well. Look, I'm going to just stay outside here. I'll pause again until the uh, battle sort of finishes. We're sort of nearly halfway through the battle and nothing much has happened. I think there has been some shots fired, but hardly anything. In fact, what actually has happened? Um, identification. Opens fire at the Napoli. Uh, needed to clean the grates. <laughs> and again, there as well. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. I'm, I'm going to have to look that up because I, I, I don't know what that actually means. It's funny because when you play the game, because I've played the older versions of the game, but I've never really... Uh, I've recorded for them, but I haven't really done much um, of the really fine-tuned stuff. And, I'm, and because I'm playing fairly slowly, I'm, I'm enjoying learning stuff, I guess. Let's just go back down to a very small speed. Let's just dawdle along at, say, 5 at this point in time. So we'll just... Um, We'll just sit on the outside here and uh, make this one go five as well. So we'll just wait for them to make a move. And I will pause again. So I'll pause, pause this time and uh, we'll just wait for them to come back on the outside. I'll just see if the game will let us end the battle early. Um, end the game. No friendly ships are at risk. Just go, yes, there we go. So we can sort of get out of that one. So nothing actually happened there. The uh, the Austrians did actually, uh, um, you know, take tail and run. So uh, that was fine because we did the previous battle. <laughs> but it does mean that we end up, uh, there's no damage happening in through there at all. So there's no points. Oh, hang on. When, with the objectives, one thing I, oh, it's too late now to look at the objectives. I did mean to have a little... Oh, there we go. Just It's a rule the wave scenario. We should, we should have really had a good look at that one. Anyway, that's, uh, that's now done. And uh, it was a draw, so nothing actually happened there, which is fine. Uh, so the, uh, the Venezia is in the yard with engine problems. So the Venezia was not part of that particular action. Uh, fighting continues in Dalmatia, so it's not, it's not finished yet. Uh, nothing else actually happened this turn. So we do gain extra for the for the blockade of the enemy. So we are blockading as well as now invading, which is working. Uh, nothing there from Austria-Hungary. So that's all okay. And we now actually have the um, we now have the intel sort of now working. Let's just go to the next turn. I'm assuming that they're going to sue for peace very very soon. I would imagine. Here we go. An enemy coastal raid. So they're actually now raiding us. Uh, our own forces, the estimated enemy forces, we don't know what that actually is. We'll accept this. This is, um, we've got three battleships, one armoured cr uh, uh, cruiser and five light cruisers, of course. The Venezia is in, is it actually got, it's got to be in there for three months, which is a long time. But it's only a light cruiser, which is not too bad. We'll accept this battle. Oh, they decline it. We gain another 300. This is action with light forces. So this will be good for us. Uh, because this will be mainly to do with the light cruisers. They've got nothing, so they won't accept this either. Yep, they decline that one. This one here is a convoy defense. So uh, again, this could be the full the full gamut of everything. We don't know. Uh, we'll accept. They decline that one as well. We're getting a lot of points here. Convoy defense. So um, location is Du Sorel. Uh, this is, battle size is going to be medium. They've now got six battleships. They had five before. And they are going to take this one on. Looks like it's starting at in, at um, at night time. Yeah, so it's a night fight. Now, with a night fight, anything can happen. <laughs> Actually, this is interesting. It's only got the we've only got the Marco Polo and the Messina, and then we've got. If we have a look at the uh, order of order of battle, so we've got the Italian main force is the um, is just the Marco Polo, the Messina. The uh, coastal forces, we do actually have a merchant division, which is over here somewhere, okay, uh, with one merchant ship. There's um, patrol boats. This is interesting. Um, I think that these are sort of like little torpedo boats, and I don't think we can see much with this. So here we go. Yeah, no, there's no torpedo mounts. 
it does have um, a two inch gun on it. That's all it actually is. So these are these are automatically generated by the game uh, for you. If they're, if they're in, we, we could also have the same thing happening against us as well. So we've got the patrol boats down through this side. Have a bit of a look and see what else they've got. Another patrol boat there. Uh, then we've got the different batteries. There's the convoy force, which is out over here with the merchant ships. The next convoy is further over this way. And then the ne next convoy is out through the side. So it's now night time. Um, we have to protect these convoys, and we and we should be able to do that. It's it, uh, how much night, how much before it becomes daylight, in forty five minutes. Okay, so it, it, this is going to go for five hundred minutes. So there's um, there's going to be four hundred minutes of of actual action, um, and we have to just try to find. I'm, I'm guessing it'll be an armored cruiser, an armored merchant cruiser, that will be what we're trying to sort of go up against. So that's the convoy force. That's the uh, merchant division. Then we've got our own forces back in through there, just sort of the Messina and the Marco Polo. Uh, we'll just lead them in the direction that they're traveling. So they are going up to mask, but we've got very limited vision through the side. So let's just go and just do it. Um, I'll just press the Q key. Just let it sort of go on and I'll just get ready to press space. In fact, I'll let it go up past where our troops actually are. And then we'll just change things around a little bit. The direction there they're diverging away from each other. Oh, here we go. We've already spotted an unknown ship. Click on OK. So this is very, very close. Cool. We've actually gone on either side of it. This is um, now we don't know what this is. I'm assuming it's going to be like a an armed merchant um, ca uh, cruiser, which would be good for us if it is. If it's a battleship, we could be in trouble here. Let's just go down to slow speed. We're not identifying it yet. Okay, so the Italian cruiser, the, the, the light cruiser 2 signals are misunderstood. So this unfortunately means that the, um, the Messina will probably go off in a completely different direction. We still haven't identified what this ship is yet. Um, so it is unidentified, but we are close with it with our Marco Polo. So let's just keep it going. Now it is cloudy, it's dead calm, so the water's going to be very, the waves are going to be very, very low, which means that we should have pretty good abilities to do different things. Now, if can we just direct it? No, we can't tell it to do anything. So we'll just come in behind it. Eventually, we'll get this one back on board again, but it's not listening to orders at this point in time. Okay, so the Messina identifies unknown ship as a battleship, uh, so it thinks it's a battleship. Now, it may very well be. Uh, the battleship opens fire on the Marco Polo, um, and the so we've got different ships are now sort of opening up different fire. So the Marco Polo holds fire because it's uncertain of its identity, but it should now know. So let's just keep on going in. Now, the Marco Polo has got forward uh, torpedoes, uh, a port broadside torpedoes so we'll actually keep on we'll just keep on heading in this direction I think we may even go even closer there we are so nothing much is actually happening we'll just go and um, just go and move it down this way and the Messina come on you go need you need to come back in again there yeah, now we've got now we've got more control I'm gonna ramp this up how fast is this one going this one is traveling, we don't know. I'm just going to assume it's going to be doing 15. And we'll get this one traveling at 15 as well, maybe even 16 for this one. We'll try to bring that one through. So at night time, it's a bit of a like a knife fight because um, the like it does allow things like the armored cruisers to really get in close and do some good damage against the uh, against ships, ships like this. Let's just go in nice and close with this. Let's go straight at it and see if we can get a torpedo away. Messina will just keep on coming back through as well. Messina has got torpedoes, yep, forward, broadside, and aft. But we're outside torpedo range with that one. Oh, it is a Monarch class. So, actually they brought, so they've actually brought a battleship in to do this. So we know that their maximum speed is 16. Let's go up to, let's go up to 17 for ours. Now we're aiming right at it. 
if, this, if a torpedo is going to go away, now's the time. It's avoiding. So the Marco Polo fires two three-inch guns. We don't actually hit it. Let's, let's keep on trying to keep this one under control. It also will have torpedoes, but we don't know exactly what. Yeah, four submerged torpedo areas, so we just have to be careful that we uh, keep on moving around. Like a, a torpedo hit that does come back our way will really hurt badly. Let's just keep this one coming. Come on, get a torpedo away. <laughs> when they hit, they really do a lot of damage. And it's going straight sort of in towards the... Um, the other forces, which we have to be a bit careful of. Uh, damn it, it's misunderstood the decision, the directions again. Okay, we're firing the three inch guns at the Monarch. So we, we only have like small guns on this particular one. We do have seven inch guns, six inch guns, and the tertiary guns are three inch guns. We've got six on either side of the Marco Polo, which is actually good. Only four secondaries and only a couple of uh, shots with a seven inch. The seven inch would actually potentially do some damage here, but we want to get in nice and close. Again, we are, we are if we're going to get a torpedo away, we are sort of lined up for it. No, it's avoiding. So it's doing evasive maneuvers. <clears throat> this one's now coming back in. It's now twilight. If we can just keep it going like this. Still, it's got light damage now on the Monarch, and our ships have not been hit. Like it's harder to hit our ships. Their ships also are not going to have a real lot of um, of ability to sort of do too much. But getting in close like this at night time has been a massive, massive boost to us. So we've got the three. 12 inch. Now they've only got the one at the back. It's it's more the, I don't want to be right behind it because of the torpedoes. Um, so I sort of want to just get onto the side of these a little bit. Let's just keep on moving up. If we can just get one torpedo away, that would be really, really cool. What we might do is actually even increase our speed, go to say 18 for both of these ships. Let him get a couple of shots away. Let's go faster. Let's get up to twenty now. God, if we can, if we can bring one of these down, that would be uh, amazingly good for the team. <laughs> So it's firing at us. Uh, there was one hit. Um, so the Messina has actually hit it again with only three inch guns. So we should be, like we're, you know, there will be very limited damage happening in through this side. And if we just hover over that one, we can see the number. It's saying medium damage, actually. This is good stuff. So our ships are actually doing well. Let's converge on it. One more turn there. Yep, we've got one six-inch gun from the Marco Polo has now hit it as well. So we're not seeing where it's actually hitting. Let's just keep it going. How fast is this one going? It's still estimated at 15. We should be doing 20. Let's just go up to 21. It looks like it's sort of pulling away a little bit. So we'll um, we'll just get our speed up and, um, and then just sort of move off. Okay, the Marco Polo fires a six-inch and hits it again. We are very, very close. Messina uh, fires again, and another hit on the on the uh, on the ship. So what actually happens with this is, uh, even though it's got like very, very good protection, um, 
and we've seen it with our ships as well. Like it's got it's got uh, nine inch belt protection, which really means we're not going to be able to do much damage there. But we can do damage in other places. Like its conning tower has got two inch armor. Uh, the deck has got one and a half inch armor. So it's going to be even hard for our for our shells to break through there. But there will still be other opportunities. Like we like for example, it's not going to be as well armored around the aft or at, at the four of the like with the extended belt. So the this is sort of where the extended belt is, and they probably won't have much armor there. Uh, so we may have some, still some opportunities to do some damage. And if we can get a torpedo away, it may be traveling too fast really for a torpedo of this era. Uh, let's just keep it going. Now the Marco Polo fires two, we get another hit. The Monarch does actually hit uh, fires two of its medium guns at the Marco Polo and uh, turret A is hit on the actual turret itself. So if we have a look and see what ours has got, um, the turret has got four inch armor. So the Marco Polo is got better armor on the turrets than uh, than it pretty much anywhere else. So the turrets are, uh, the belt is good as well and the turrets are good. And so we're able to sort of then, like the medium guns are not gonna be all that great. Uh, we've got what are the what's their medium gun? Their medium gun is a six inch, same as ours. So that's pretty much what went in through there. Um, they're still actually this looks like we've been able to knock out some of their some of what they've got. This one's been knocked out completely by the looks. So they are just using their small guns to fire back at us, uh, which is good. So we'll just keep on we'll just keep on tracking along. The Messina is. Um, it's got 4% damage, actually. What did we end up getting? We got some entries in here. Um, yeah, we got, got hit at 336. So that was a while back, actually. Um, the By a six inch shell. Uh, yeah, the four aft hull was had, had been hit and then it did flood. So we've got limited flooding. That's, we can still travel at, at normal speed. The current speed is, like it's not taking the orders that we're giving it. So we'll just keep on that, that one closed off. But, but let's uh, let's get it. Mo moving up the Marco Polo is is doing well its uh, speed should be 21 by now yeah it's 21 um, maximum speed and it is actually sort of coming back through we're not evading at this point in time but we'll just keep it sort of coming back up if we can get one more good hit the Messina fires one five inch gun um, the Monarch uh, fires uh, two guns and it's a near miss on the Messina so it's firing back at the Messina um, I don't think it's, it looks like it's, it's using that weapon. What did it use? The light guns. Okay, that's all right. Now we've crossed over behind it. And I don't really want to be behind it because it can then get one of its torpedoes away. So let's actually move this one now out. We'll get some broadside action on it. Uh, the Messina is still trying to come back up. And we'll just let it go a little bit longer. There goes all the guns now facing on it. Marco Polo sights an unknown ship. Uh, so there's another ship coming in. Um, let's just keep everything going this way. We've got medium damage that we that we think we've done to this. And we don't know what this is. looks like a, a light cruiser, but we know that they've got no light cruisers, so it's probably just going to be another small ship. I think we'll just keep on doing what we're doing here for quite some time. It's still twilight. They're now bringing their, their guns to bear. Monarch was hit by five inch guns again. So the Messina is the Messina's doing a very, very good job here. The Marco Polo, the, the captain is not fantastic. He's below average, Captain uh, Panzani. <laughs> so he's, uh, it's, a, it's a shame because it's a good, good uh, ship. You know, it's a good class of ship. The Messina, we do have 10 three edge. It's just that we don't have the firepower with this guy. These are great against uh, small, smaller ships, but it's um, but they are doing damage up through here. Let's just let it come forward. That one should turn around, I would assume. Now we've actually hit with a five-inch 
Um, let's have a look and see what actually happened. We straddled it, got one hit. Now, the fact that it's turned off like this is interesting. Have we hit the rudder? Like, this is one of these things where there may be something that's actually happened here. And I'm thinking I'm just going to keep it going for one more minute with the Messina on this line. If we can get a torpedo away, that would be awesome. Uh, Messina fires. Target was then straddled. Let's just move in close. So we firing in close like this is, is the one opportunity that we actually have. And because it started at night time, we've been able to close in pretty well. Yep, the Monarch has been hit again. So we really are smashing this. Uh, it's now got heavy damage. So we've, we, we are bringing this one down. Uh, let's just keep it going. Getting rid of one of their battleships now is going to be really, really good. Again, we're lining up for a um, for a one of the four torpedo tubes to um, to get a shot in. I don't think we did it. Let's just uh, track it again. So even though even with that big fleet. But, oh, this is just a, a, a um, this is one of the Elano class uh, corvettes that they have, which is basically a bit of a nothing ship. I mean, they've got some six-inch guns. Uh, again, we're hitting it again and again. We're not seeing any fires breaking out at all. Um, that looks like that's been repaired. Um, let's just have it go back up this way, and the Messina can just keep on heading up this way as well. Guns are now going to all be. Oh, Marco Polo is avoiding torpedoes. Awesome. So they did actually fire torpedoes out. Great. So we've actually been able to uh, to um, stop that. So the um, we've got the Messina is firing again. Target straddled. Monarch fires and uh, does get one hit on the Messina. It's a near miss though. So it actually... And yeah, Marco Polo was avoiding torpedoes. So we, we've got to keep on doing this. We've got to be careful uh, where we end up. And we want to get line up on theirs, but it's sort of easier for them to hit us at this point in time. So let's just keep things going in the same direction. So we'll just go and uh, press Q. So Monarch fires two heavy guns at the Marco Polo. We're straddled. No hits, though. The Messina fires the three-inch guns. We did actually hit the Monarch. Marco Polo fires six three-inch guns in, with one hit. So we're getting the small hits are going in. That is now still active, this is still active. It looks like this other side is actually safer for us. I think what we might do is um, is swing back in around again. Actually, I might just swing away a little bit, bring the Messina up closer to the Monarch, and we'll just see if we can track it down again. Yep, the Monarch was then hit again by, th by three inch guns. The three inch again, don't do, hardly do any actual damage. Let's bring this one across. Now, come on, get a torpedo off. Okay, so the Messina fires two five-inch guns, um, straddled, and we got one hit. Messina fires uh, five three-inch guns and gets a hit in through there, and the Marco Polo fires three guns and gets a hit. So this is, we're seeing heavy damage, but it's still traveling at a, at a fast rate. Uh, this ship... Let's bring the Marco Polo back around again. And the Messina we now have to be careful of. So let's go and bring it back around this other side. So we'll probably end up with a torpedo being fired aft. Not seeing anything there. Okay, that's interesting. So the Messina, Messina was actually hit. So it did fire two medium guns at the Messina. And the Messina has now got 10% uh, damage. We have a bit of a look. So we've got flotation damage. We are flooding a little bit. So we've got to be a little bit careful here. But we should be able to fix that up. It's not dramatic flooding, but that was a, sh a shot where they actually hit us uh, in the extended belt, essentially, or fore and aft. They actually hit us in the, in the, in the front of the ship. I wish, would, I wish I knew which one it was, either fore or aft hull hit. Uh, but it was a basically a... Um, it can only be one or the other, surely. <laughs> <laughs> let's keep it going let's keep it going I, I like the fact that we've actually got this thing on the run um, the Marco Polo has still got no damage at all done to it okay so let's just press Q 
Monarchs hit again by two three inch guns. If we could just get one torpedo off, that would be so so cool. Um, let's keep it going. Get Marco fire Polo fires again. Um, the Messina is now limited its flooding, so it's what's its maximum speed now? Still twenty one. It's travelling at, at fifteen. It's actually not doing what we want it to do. Um, I'll keep it doing what it's doing though. This uh, this other Corvette is now coming back in. It's still he it's heavy damage, but there's not much we can do with it. Let's just avoid any other interaction that this thing might actually have. Three inch guns. We'll just avoid again. Fires four six inch guns with one hit. The six inch guns are going to be uh, are going to be you know possibility to do some good damage. Unfortunately, all the guns on this side can fire at the Marco Polo. Let's just go back up. I'll just keep the Messina. I don't know why the Messina. We've got we've given it orders to go at twenty one, but it hasn't taken up those orders at all. Now this one's going to come in with the with its two six inch guns and two three inch guns, <coughs> which is uh, something we're just going to have to be a bit bit uh, careful of. Now the three seven inch guns of the Marco Polo have hit it twice. This is good stuff. Uh, the six inch guns have also hit it twice, so we're getting a lot of hits now in on the on the Monarch. It does have the nine inch belt armor though, so um, we don't know exactly what we're dealing with here. Uh, but I'm thinking we must have done good damage, but there's no fires that have broken out yet. So we haven't really sort of seen too much. And unfortunately, both its turrets are still actually active and are firing at the Marco Polo. It is um, it is now daylight, so we're now in full daylight. It's now 5.16 in the morning. And um, we've, only, we've only played less than 100 turns, but there's been a lot going on here, a lot going on indeed. So let's just uh, press, keep it going. Now, the Alano class, the Messina, I'll just keep it going. Again, the Monarch's been hit multiple times. Uh, it's firing at 7-inch guns, and it's doing them quickly. It's actually being able to fire fairly fast. Let's just go with it. Now, we should be able to um, use these guns to now fire at the uh, Alano. I'll keep the Marco Polo on this line, even though it's a little bit dangerous. So the Alano was now hit. So it actually took a damage, some sort of damage. We don't know how what it actually got. That was two of the three-inch guns hit it. Only one actually did a hit. Marco Polo, three-inch gun on the Monarch. Monarch fires heavy gun at the Marco Polo. It was straddled. Let's go and change the angle in that case so that we end up uh, just avoiding that a little bit. How's the Messina going? Looks like it's picking up speed. Yeah, the current speed is 18, so it is actually picking up after that flotation problem. And that's okay. Okay, we're just getting some straddles. Okay, so um, we're firing the three-inch guns at the uh, Alino. The Alino actually has some reasonable protection, two-inch belt armor, two-inch deck armor. Um, but we are now getting some hits in on it. Um, this just confuses things a little bit. <laughs> we'll just keep the Marco Polo sort of uh, tr trundling through. I think we've still got zero, yeah, zero damage done to the Marco Polo. Yep, and that was another, the Messina's, the Messina's done a lot of the damage here. Okay, the, uh, it's been hit again. Um, okay, so the, okay, what have we got here? We've got the, um, it fires at us. There is one hit from a light gun. It does actually hit our um, our engine room. So the Messina engine room has been um, of, has been hit at the belt. Uh, the shell bursts on the armor deck, and so we do actually get some damage with the to the superstructure with splinters. So nothing too much at this point in time. So it has done some damage to us uh, with what actually did happen. Um, yeah, it is it is focusing on the on the Alano. I think. 
I think I'll allow it to continue fo focusing on that one. Again, if we can destroy these Corvettes, it will actually help us. Uh, everything else is looking good. We've got fire control, flotation, still got some minor flooding. We have taken me two medium hits, one light hit, no heavy hits. Uh, and the Marco Polo has taken three medium hits, but no real damage being done to it. It's got fairly good protection. It's a good design, this ship. I do, I do like this this actual ship. Um, now, it, it so we took some damage there. Two five-inch guns were fired at the Alano. One actually hit, and then t uh, fires two th five three-inch guns, and two were hit. So the this one is actually taking some damage. If we have a look and see uh, what's going on here. So there's been sort of like explosions and things happening in and around the ship. It's still traveling at 15 knots. We're traveling faster. Um, I can tell it, I can tell the ship to um, to target a different ship if I wanted to, but I think I'll just keep it going. You know, it's actually targeting the Alino class. So at the if you sort of let the captains just do their own thing, that will be fine. Uh, let's just keep the keep it the order at, at 21. And the Marco Polo will now sort of divert away a little bit from the Monarch. Just need to do more damage. So that was hit again. The Alino was hit a couple more times. No more torpedoes that we're sort of seeing at this stage. I think what we'll do is we'll just get it to go down to say 15 and just match the um, the Alino. The Alino has got light damage. So we match that one directly. This one doesn't have torpedoes. Now we've taken uh, the superstructure was hit on, on the uh, BU. I think what's that? The above belt. I think the upper belt uh, splinters perforate the uptakes. So we've actually got the um, and that's on the deck as well. So we've actually it's, it's penetrated the upper belt. It's penetrated the deck on the Messina. Uh, the Messina has got um, now 12% damage. There's no more flooding as such because this is all above deck, but we are taking damage, and that was from the Alina. Again, the Alina's got some good firepower for such a, a small ship. Um, the Monarch has been hit numerous times again from the Marco Polo with six-inch guns and three-inch guns. So I'm hopeful that we can take this one out. I might actually forget about the Alino for a little while. And let's just go back towards the Monarch and just keep everything sort of going this way. In fact, let's go and get our speed back up to 18. Monarch was hit again by three inch guns. Now if I go to here, um, division target, just make that the division target will then be the um, the Monarch. So we might as well sort of do more damage against it, I think. So um, that's okay. I actually didn't didn't actually take it. Oh, it may be the settings that I've actually got. I haven't really had a close look to, at those settings. I do mean to do that at some point. Monarch was hit yet again. We're still firing at this, I think. It's down to ten knots. That one. We'll go back for that one. Ultimately. Marco Polo, Polo turrets have been jammed. This turret has been knocked out by the looks of things. And this one's still actually active underneath there, underneath that smoke. Monarch was hit again by three inch guns. Let's uh, go in close again. The Messina is in a good position. Monarch hit again. God, we're doing such, such a lot of hitting, but it's just, it's just so heavily armored. with both of these. God, we're doing a lot of damage here. This is surely got to be... It's saying medium damage and it's still travelling at speed. It's just so hard to, um, to get meaningful shots in with these. Yeah, we're ahead of it. Messina is less than 50% armor, ammo remaining. Again, more hits with it, with some bigger guns too. Just need to get one lucky hit. 
Oh wow, look at this. So we're straddled and we've got the three inch guns hitting it multiple times. Messina is actually straddling it again with uh, five inch guns. So we are smashing this thing, but its belt armor is just too much. Looks like we've taken out both the turrets at the top, um, which is good. Has, have ours, this one's still jammed. This one's actually okay. They've been, they've been hit, they've been damaged. So they've got one big shot at the back there. Um, is the monarch taking, is doing any, is it actually firing? It doesn't look to be. Uh, let's reduce the speed here to match the speed of the, um, of the battleship. And similarly with this one, just make this one say 16. Three inch guns again, another hit. Fires at the, um, oh sorry, that's Marco Polo. Yeah, so it's actually not really firing much. So I think that this is um, is really having a hard time now. We're not seeing even the even the side guns are no longer uh, active. Is that one? F that one's still aiming, so it's still trying to get a shot in on the Marco Polo. Let's uh, just cross it a little bit. Okay, we fired again, another hit. We're very maneuverable. Although we're about the same size, actually, when we look at the actual, we're heavier, we're 7,300. It's just that they've got much better firepower than what we've got. This one here is um, 4,100, so this is lighter. Still traveling at 15, I think. No, it's down to 10 now. Let it go one more. Hit again. It's trying to ev evade. I'm, I'm assuming that we're getting torpedoes away. We just don't know when the torpedoes are shot. Now we are very, very close to it. The turrets in here, under here. It's very hard to see. There's a lot of smoke. Let's get away from its potential torpedoes. It's still hitting it. Let's get our speed up. This is risky. Let's just go a little bit faster than it. Monarch was hit again by the uh, Messina. The Messina's been good, although it has taken a little bit of damage. So we're down to... Um, 12% damage, I think we're still zero with the um, with the Marco Polo. Oh, here we go. So what's actually happened is I think the Messina has got away a, a torpedo. So the Monarch has now been hit by a torpedo. This is the um, this is the uh, capital ship killer of the game, and um, so it's now been hit by the torpedo. That is going to do massive, massive damage. Now, we don't get to see what the damage actually is. Yeah, here we go. So it um, doesn't tell us who actually sent it off there, but uh, that has now been hit. And so we should now see the death throes of this thing. So it's saying medium damage, and gen but generally a torpedo hit is, is, um, is terminal. And so we got in really close with the Messina, we have, uh, the Messina has got like some various, I'll just get it back into here. So it, it would have gone with its starboard broadside. There we go, it's reloading. So it's got um, the, uh, so it's it's got zero of two, it's reloading, 20 minutes left. So it's, um, so it's the, the um, hang on, what does it say there? Yep, so um, 
launches, uh, launches, uh, lo loaded launches, uh, uh, launch reloads left. I'm not sure what that actually is. So anyway, we've got the, um, so we've been firing away at it <laughs> and uh, we've actually now got a hit in there, which is perfect. So this is, this is awesome stuff. If we have a look at the Marco Polo, uh, we can see there that it's got the torpedo tubes are all loaded, ready to go. So we've got essentially like they're all loaded with one, but the the, um, the Monarch, sorry, the Messina, did actually get away. It's uh, it's still got another broadside, a starboard broadside um, torpedo ready to go again. Let's go and uh, let's go and see if we can actually just do this one again. So if we just go and um, and allow it to get another torpedo away. So we'll just go and move this one in. I'll just do a shift click. Uh, Monarch was hit again. We're not. We're going to get in front of it slightly to get these these away. So um, we're not seeing any real damage done. It hasn't fired back, but uh, this is now where we sort of start to um, start to put the pressure on. And it's hit more and more again. Yeah, we may be able to get a torpedo away with the Marco Polo. If we can just get ahead of it. Is it still traveling at 15? No, it's, it's got heavy damage now after that torpedo strike. So it's probably sinking for all we know. Um, now the Alino is now moving off, and I may chase that one down with the Messina, but the battleship is everything really. I think we'll just keep on with the battleship. This is this is really the uh, this is a big moment for us. Now if we keep it going, we might be able to get it one of the four torpedoes with the Messina, doing what it has to do. Keep this one coming. It's being hit time and time again. We don't know what sort of damage has actually been done to the Monarch. Come on, we should have got a torpedo away by now. Nope, they're not reloading. Let's go and uh, reduce our speed right down. What's it traveling at? Should be at about 10. Yeah, it's going at 10. We'll just go at, say, 11. Get this one down to around about the same as well. Just a little bit faster. Uh, okay, it's hit by another torpedo. So it looks like we've actually been able to smash it again. So um, uh, the, uh, yep, actually the Marco, po sorry, the Marco Polo is hit by a torpedo, um, which isn't good. So we're, Marco Polo is avoiding torpedoes. It does get hit. Engine room was hit. So that's actually a bit of a disaster for us. So the um, so the battleship did get a, a, a shot away. Let's have a look at the damage that was done. The flotation damage is fairly intense, and we are flooding. So um, we still actually have the structure itself is okay, but the flooding is going to be a problem. So we need to try to stem the flooding uh, for some time. So we've had one torpedo hit, unfortunately. Damn it. <laughs> We got uh, we did pretty well, um, so that's a shame. That's going to do some big damage to us. Um, so that's actually the, the big issue. So the Monarch did actually get a torpedo away. Uh, I was sort of hopeful we'd be the one getting the torpedo away. So that's but it didn't actually work out that way. Yeah, we didn't fire any of ours. The Messina is. Um, I'm assuming the Messina didn't fire it. No, it's still reloading the other one from before. All right, so. The flooding. Hopefully, we can we can stem this flooding and just keep keep everything sort of going. Let's just uh, turn around. We did actually get hit in the engine. So what sort of damage? We can travel at fourteen now. So we've actually been hit pretty hard. Um, get all of these to come around. What's, what's it traveling? It's still at ten. Has taken heavy damage. Going at 11, let's just make this one go to 12. Make this one go a little bit faster at, say, 13. 
like Apollo is the turrets mean jammed still flooding a lot it's not dramatic I mean you can get even more than that but it's um that it is it is up there let's just keep the Marco Polo I mean when you get that close it's um it's really anybody's you know go at trying to sort of get things done um now they I don't know if they fired with their out aft we don't we've got no idea but they'll be still loading their torpedo tube I would guess so I might bring the Messina in, which the Messina was was loading with its um, with its starboard side. No, the, yeah. So this is actually the side that it was re that is reloading. Still six minutes left. We might be able to get a um, a shot across uh, from the from the four. So let's actually just go straight at it. Marco Polo. I'm just going to keep that one sort of moving across. Come on, come on, come on, fire another torpedo. I want the forward torpedo to uh, to, to fire right now. I don't know if it will. Okay, we've now limited the flooding, good. So we're back in action again, even after that shot. So we're still actually now holding a lot of water. Uh, the flooding is now down to zero. Um, we've got to hope that they, that they, oh, look at this. We've now got flames on deck. We can now see the fire. So, um, so this is actually good for us. And this is, uh, five knots now. So we're going to have to move away from, with this one here. Let's move this one right down to about eight and just have it move away. So it looks like it's sinking. Yep. It was hit again with more of them. So this is good stuff. Let's move this one right around. Still traveling at five. Heavy fire, heavy damage on fire. The death throws. And this is good for us because this is, uh, we've been trying to kill these for quite some time. Now we want to, we want to basically finish it off with torpedoes. So I'm just going to get our speed right down. I mean, it's dead calm, so it's perfect for for, for torpedoes. Have you fired one yet? Nope. Let's move this one up in speed a little bit. Get one away. No, still not. <laughs> it doesn't want to use its torpedoes. Where's the other ship? It's back over here. We might start to go after this one here with the uh, with this this ship here. Let's go and and um, get it up to speed. Ah, Marco Polo is now launching torpedoes, um, so that's good. We've got torpedoes in the, so we've now done it with our starboard torpedoes. If you just go and right click on this one, so starboard broadside torpedoes are now reloading. Thirty six minutes left for the reload. This is good stuff. Still very early on in the fight. <laughs> Bang! You saw that there. It missed. So we missed with the torpedo. Um, and uh, but we are still hitting it with other with other things, so unfortunately we didn't actually get to finish it off with the torpedoes. Uh, we'll just get the Messina to keep on. This is now sinking. This is actually now it's heavily damaged. It's now completely stopped, basically. So let's go after the um, the Alino. We'll just see if we can get some more interaction happening. Let's get our speed up now. The maximum speed for this one, if we go to um, Maximum is 14. If we go to cruise, it's 12. Let's just do that. We'll leave the Monarch where it is. And we'll go after the other ship. What's it traveling at? It's traveling at 15. I might just get the uh, Messina to go at maximum minus two. So 
so that is now syncing. We don't get to. I love that you've. I mean, in one sense, I like that you don't get to see the actual action, other than the fact that there's um, a lot of fire and smoke now billowing out from. It's dead calm, so this the smoke is also staying around the actual ship itself, and um, and so this is really, really in a lot of a lot of trouble. Um, we'll, we, we can always come back and finish it off after we get the um, the Corvette. It's our faster ship, so let's just go and. Uh, if I press control, I can then sort of just have it track it. This, I think, has got your medium damage. This one, we don't actually have any torpedoes that we have to worry about. Well, we survived a torpedo hit, which is good going because that really does a lot of damage. Just by pressing control and clicking, I, I then take it into where whatever I aim at is where is where it ends up going. Okay, the, the Marco Polo went directly where we wanted it to go. So we'll just now do shift click and just get the orders so we're sort of heading in the right direction. Now again, this has got pretty good armament, but it has taken some damage. We may be able to see uh, as well, just if there's been any damage done. Look, it's not actually, it's pointing that tar that one around slightly. This one is pointing back as well. So they are, it's trying to fight back. Our guns are all on the side there. Monarch is um, still just sitting out there. What we can do is just go and place a uh, marker. Uh, battleship. Just in case we end up... Oh, hang on, I've got my caps lock. <laughs> Ran the wrong way. B sinking. All right, so that way we've got the... Um, just a, a note on the screen. So we've got like a note in through there. I don't know how to get rid of the notes, to be honest, by the way, either. Um, in the meantime, we'll just keep on going after this Corvette. It's taking hits again. Marco Polo is hitting the turret. It should be, we should be okay if we keep the Marco Polo at some sort of distance and we just go in with the Messina. Coming in with torpedoes loaded on the uh, on the port side. Okay, so Messina engine uh, room was hit, but it is protected. We do get some damage coming back through. Um, again, it's just got it's got such good armament. Let's just see what our damage is. It's now sixteen percent. The the uh, Marco Polo is at forty four percent. It's been a good battle. It's been a good good battle. This one. Uh, we're hitting this one more and more again. We want to get ahead of it slightly just to get uh, a torpedo away if we can. Let's keep the Marco Polo heading up. So it's taken engine room damage, this, this uh, Corvette. Now we want to just have it so that our, because again, our um, torpedoes are all ready to go. So we've got all of the torpedoes ready. So let's just go and uh, let's go and, and try to sort of get an angle where we can get a broadside firing at it. Now that's probably about right. We may need to get a bit closer. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. You can now you can now use your. Um, your torpedoes to do it to do some damage here. Nope, didn't fire them. Oh, okay. So Austria-Hungary has no ships left at sea. The scenario is over. Okay, so that's um, 
even though this one's still going. I don't know if that will be counted as being sunk. I'm guessing it will. So at this stage, the um, the uh, the monarch uh, sorry, what is it? The monarch class um, has uh, has actually been sunk. So actually, we do sink both. So we sink uh, both the battleship and the uh, corvette. We do take medium damage on the uh, on the armored cruiser and light damage on the light cruiser. So that was good for us. We did a lot of damage there. Uh, bonus for uh, for sixteen surviving merchants. So um, yes, yeah, so our merchant ships actually went very well. We sort of protected them, but that was a that was an engaging battle. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I did enjoy that myself. So. Um, uh, yep, that's all okay. We'll just close that one off. Quit out of there. That's a major victory as well. This is a big one because we now have got one of their battleships and we we actually managed to sort of do do well against it with um <clears throat> with some reasonable forces. I mean that that armored cruiser was very very good and we have another one being built at the moment. It'll be a way. This oh, look at the crew quality. They're now elite. The Italia is elite. The um, uh, which one was it? The Messina is good. Good quality. They're down for two more months. So we've got a few things now where we've just got, you know, repairs being being done. So we're getting some elite crews now, which is fantastic. So I think that those stars may be to do with the crew quality. Um, our, our ship, the AMC uh, Principa Giovanna, is commissioned to the Navy during trials. It's found that the ship is easily surpassing her design speed. Awesome. So this is, a, uh, this is of course, the armed merchant cruiser. And um, we've got the next one as well, the Matteo Renato commissioned as well and the uh, Ravina is commissioned into the into the Navy our ship the Regina Margarita is also commissioned into the Navy wow so we've really moved ahead in this particular episode the Italia is in the yard with engine problems it's a shame fighting continues in Dalmatia but we're sort of doing fairly well there 120 for the blockade that we actually have so we've got a lot of we've got we're now really are dominating the Mediterranean um, so we'll close this one off Invading forces are fighting to capture Dalmatia, so it's still continuing on through there. We'll close that one off. So we now actually have, and you can see that even they actually add a little bit to their blockade numbers, just a little bit. And these are working up as well. So we've now got, these don't actually take captains on board, but we now have a new one up through here for the Regina Margarita, which is also now working up. So at the moment, in terms of what we've actually got available to us, we've actually got a, not that many uh, that are actually ready for action. So the active fleet, we've got two, two battleships uh, that, are, that are, are active. We've got um, one... Uh, light cruiser. So we're still actually, we're not out of the woods yet, but we're, we certainly have had a really good run. All right, let's go and uh, close this one off. So we'll, um, we'll end this episode here. So thanks for watching, guys. I will catch you in the next exciting episode. We're only really sort of playing one or two months per turn, but it's um, been an engaging war. And uh, once the war finishes, we'll be able to then go into other aspects of the game. I really do want the war to finish, just so I can talk about more stuff. You can see there we're absolutely smashing them in terms of the victory points. So I would assume that they will sue for peace fairly soon. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.